you can make your hair super long and thick in a short while with this diy hair growth oil this diy hair growth oil is for those that want thick hair long hair healthy hair nourished and strengthened hair this nutrient rich herbal infused treatment will prevent damage for strong lustrous hair this lightweight treatment will nourish your split ends and hair follicles for a sleek look it soothes dry scalp and deeply penetrates the scalp to increase circulation combat dandruff comfort itchy scalp and sensitive scalp while working to strengthen lengthen nourish and protect the hair this treatment is safe for all hair types it will promote radiant hair for all hair types and deeply nourish type 3a to 4c hair on today's video, I share how to make one of the most potent and powerful hair growth oil for extreme hair growth. You will see results using this treatment in less than one month of use. We're going to be using aloe vera for this powerful hair growth oil. Aloe vera contains something called proteolytic enzymes, which repair their skin cells on the scalp. It also acts as a great conditioner and leaves your hair all smooth and shiny. It promotes hair growth, prevents itching on the scalp, reduces dandruff, and conditions your hair. The primary protein of hair consists of amino acids, oxygen, carbon, and small amounts of hydrogen, nitrogen, and sulfur. Aloe vera has a chemical makeup similar to that of keratin, and it rejuvenates the hair with its own nutrients, giving it more elasticity and preventing breakage for us to use this aloe vera in order to benefit our hair we have to prep it and for us to prep it we have to remove the spikes those tongs on the sides are the spikes and we have to remove them because we won't be using them for this recipe so i just scrape them out the next thing is to cut off the unwanted parts and then slice them thinly because we are making hair growth oil, we are not going to be using the juice for the hair growth oil so that we don't flood our oil with water from the aloe vera. So this is the perfect way to use the aloe vera for this purpose. So if you cannot slice it thinly, just as I'm doing this method that I'm using, you can slice yours in cubes, but just make sure you slice them thinly so that you can get all the benefits embedded in this aloe vera. So after slicing, here's my result. Moving on to the next ingredient, we have have rosemary leaves fresh rosemary leaves please if you don't have fresh rosemary leaves go ahead and use the dried version rosemary strengthens hair follicles to produce fortified hair strands fives dandruff they reduce inflammation on the scalp they help soothe conditions like eczema and scalp psoriasis nourishes the hair follicles with hair growth nutrients they control excessive oily scalp and protect the hair cuticles from damage light your stove place a clean pan on it our carrier oil of choice is olive oil extra virgin olive oil in hair doses encourages hair growth and health it reduces hair loss by preventing the hormone dihydrotestosterone or DHT from binding to the scalp. It also contains antifungal properties and moisturizers that stimulate hair production. Using a quarter cup, I measured out three portions of the olive oil. I don't know if you understand. Using a quarter cup, measure out three cups of the olive oil into the pan. Heat up a bit and then transfer the sliced aloe vera into it. Spread them out so that they can infuse in the oil. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Once you're done spreading out the sliced aloe vera in the oil, proceed to adding your rosemary leaves into it. I added about four to five stalks of rosemary leaves into the pan and then keep on stirring it stand by this and stir it continuously until it is 15 to 20 minutes mark before you know that this is ready please do this on low heat do not use high heat for this make sure to spread out the rosemary leaves so that it can infuse properly in the oil 
if you don't have olive oil please you can use any other oil you have around you you can use grapeseed oil you can use coconut oil the choice is yours so once it's 15 to 20 minutes mark turn off your heat and allow this to cool down completely on the stove once it's done cooling proceed to strain that so for the sieving i used my clear bowl and a sieve to collect my hair growth oil please do not press this so that you don't transfer the water in the aloe vera into your hair growth oil so as you can see i did not squeeze that for my next ingredient i added some few drops of vitamin e oil vitamin e oil basically helps the oil to last longer it serves as a preservative and it also helps with hair growth as well i added some essential oils in peppermint and then lavender essential oils all in five drops each so if you don't have these two essential oils you can use any other essential oil you have around you stir to combine and then transfer into your applicator bottle i always make my hair growth oil to fit into this my applicator bottle okay i don't like to make excess because it's just me using it so that whenever i exhaust the, the one that i made i can make another one as you guys already know on this channel i love to use my hair growth oils for pre-pull scalp massages and also a sealant whichever you like you can use this oil for that but just make sure that you use it consistently that way you will see results in order to make this work faster for you i advise you get a scalp massager please watch to the end of this video to see me use the scalp massager Try to use this scalp massager with this oil on your scalp if you really want to see results in no time. Whenever you're using this hair growth oil, please do not forget your hair tips. Those are the oldest part of your hair. To reduce split ends and also knots on the ends, always oil that part as well and then twirl it. That brings me to the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next one shortly. Bye! Never really know just what you want With you I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever wanna give me wings You don't ever wanna set me free You know I'm addicted to you And it's twisted you've been gifted with the evil voodoo Got me coming back for more even when I've been screwed Dolls full of pins, pierce my heart straight through Got issues in my head I like you in my bed But you keep me on red Oh, everything is like a test I better not text or I'll come off desperate What if I lay down and I play dead And I stay dead Baby, you'll get sick of being the monster Out of my head, under my bed Think you're something out of my mind Play dead, will you regret everything that you did, that you said I don't think you understand what you're doing And my heart's black and blue from the bruising I feel like when I'm with you I'm losing I feel like you think that this amusing Sitting there gaslighting and confusing Was it me, is it me, am I deluded? I'm the one who's always sorry, the conclusion Even though I offer all of the solutions I wish you loved me like I love you, it's stupid When I'm alone with you, I never feel lucid I wish I wasn't struck by Cupid I wish when I first saw you, I knew this When I'm with you, I feel so useless, I feel dilute